World Trigger is a pretty underrated anime. I even made a video about how it had the best power system ever written. The original video has been taken down, but it's on my Patreon for free, while the follow-up is still on my channel. But here, I want to talk about the fights. With Season 3 here, I want to spread some more love to World Trigger because I adore its fights. It's a little different from your traditional battle manga fights for three reasons. The first reason is the power system. Triggers are a universal power system. You can watch my video titled, Types of Power Systems, for more details. With triggers, everyone has access to the same exact abilities in Border. The closest comparison will be Alchemy, but even there, Roy is the only one who can use Fire Alchemy, Kimberly with explosions, and so on. With Border triggers, nearly all triggers are available to the agents. There are some exceptions, but I go into those in both of my videos on World Trigger's power system. By giving every combatant the choice to choose their abilities, it creates an even yet creative playing field. All agents have 8 slots and can choose any 8 triggers, repeats included. This allows for several different combinations that create intricate fighting styles. Triggers as a system goes a step further and balances every single individual ability. All of them have strengths and weaknesses. None of them are unbalanced. See my video, How to Write Power Escalation and Power Ups, for more details. I'll use the 3 sword triggers as examples again. Kogetsu has high power and durability, but it has no gimmicks and is heavy. Scorpion is almost weightless, can take on any shape, and can come from any part of the body, but it also has low durability. Rekas can slightly change shapes, turn into a shield, and has high durability, but it's very heavy and has a low offensive power. Every single ability is written like this, meaning that no ability can be overpowered or objectively better than another. This provides complex fights in comparison to overpowered abilities. Let me give an example. If anime A has the abilities that are objectively better than others, then the characters will always use those abilities as their go-to. But in anime B, if all powers are balanced, the characters will have to think about their opponent's strengths and weaknesses and decide which ability to approach them with. This will lead to a constant game of one-upmanship until one fighter wins. Of course, there are other factors that come into play in a power system, but this is a basic example of how, on average, balanced is superior to unbalanced. An unbalanced system needs to put in more effort to be as good as a balanced one. The second reason is exploration, or what I call what-if scenarios. The story takes an ability and looks at all the possible things the ability can do on its own or in combination with outside factors. This is common in battle manga, but World Trigger takes it to another level because it does this for several of its abilities. Let me start with Scorpion. What if Scorpion could go inside the user and emerge from anywhere on their body? If Scorpion can shapeshift, what if it turned into a leg? What if two Scorpions were combined to make an extended blade? What if a scorpion was used in a way to create a projectile? Now, I'll just mention random water scenarios that caught my attention. What if a character changed the color of their blade to create an advantage? What if a grasshopper was used on an opponent or an object? What if Escudo was used to launch objects? What if bullets could be delayed? There are several more examples that have been used and are to come. This degree of exploration in individual abilities is spectacular, and I don't think I've seen another story accomplish this feat. The last thing that sets these fights apart is what I call the military tactics. The characters are almost always fighting in teams and use everything from their teammates to their surroundings to gain an advantage. There are several technical details in each fight that would make you think the author was once a military general. There are many I could choose from, but I'll choose the 4v2 battle at the start of Season 2. The goal of the border agents was to protect the hangar, and the goal of the opponents from Galopola was to destroy what was in the hangar. One of the enemies had a powerful blaster, so Ko, who had a shield, was tasked with blocking these shots. While in combat, one of the enemies discovers that Kazuma can't use Chameleon and attack at the same time. Through more combat, Tachikawa discovers that his Koketsu can't break his opponent's trigger, but Konami's axe can. The enemies decide to pick off the weaker opponents first, while three border agents decide to target the heavy opponent, leaving Kazuma with the light one. The heavy opponent even spells out border strategy. Konami disrupts him and creates attack opportunities. Ko stands between the opponent and the hangar and sometimes joins in on the attack, and Tachikawa attacks in between his allies to control the flow. Tachikawa assesses that a drawn out battle would be disadvantaged for the opposition and predicts where his opponent's next shot will be. Kazuma's opponent starts to distract Ko because he is standing in the way of their goal. When Kazuma sees this, he goes invisible, cuts off his arm as a decoy, and slices three of his opponent's limbs, but the opponent is still able to keep Ko busy. Before the cannon can fire, Tachikawa and Konami distract the heavy target again. Tachikawa interlocks his blades with the opponent's appendages, while Konami cuts both of them in half. The heavy alien gets his balance using his trigger as legs and fires the cannon, but Ko blocks the shot at an angle, allowing him to only take minimal damage. Meanwhile, Cosmo solos his opponent. All of the characters applied their weaknesses and strengths into their formation and strategy, 
creating a cerebral battle. And this is only one fight out of the five that take place against Galopola. World Trigger really creates combat like no other. The intricacies of the power system, the application of those powers, and the strategies and formations that stem from them create such impressive and intelligent battles. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and check out my manga for free online. If you enjoy my content, please consider donating to my Patreon. All important links will be in the description.